Let's get queer -cated. What's up? What's going on? You know, it's your girl Radio coming at you with a what a next video. This is episode 18. This is Let's Get Queer -cated, where I Radio educate you about all things queer this month. So smash that subscription button if you're not subscribing yet. Like, share, and comment. Hit that notification bell so every single time a video drop, you guys will know. So Today's terminology of the day is outing. This is something that I could have touched in, in, in the, the terminology coming out or closeted, but I wanted to do this on its own. Outing is the disclosure of a queer person's sexuality or gender identity without their consent. It invades their privacy and takes away anatomy. Coming out about one's gender identity or sexuality is a very personal experience. It is personal information and not necessarily news or gossip for persons to have discussions over. Every individual has the right to come out on their own terms and at the time when they want to. Sexuality and gender identity are very private and sensitive information that one may never reveal or choose to reveal only to a selective view. few. Every person should be allowed convenience and comfort while coming out. Outing someone jeopardizes their position in their society, family, and peer group because they lose the narrative and are forced to come out at an uncomfortable time. It can be either deliberate or accident. Still not an excuse. Considering the fact that we live in an utterly patriarchal, homophobic, queer, non-inclusive society where they refuse to acknowledge and protect queer people, outing can lead to losing jobs, bullying, rustication from educational institutions, and often conversion or aversion therapy. Thank God that Nadina Jamaica, well, I don't know about any in Jamaica, but thank God that not in Jamaica. No matter the degree of the consequences, outing is always harmful. Outing is never justified, no matter the reason, no matter the circumstances. If a queer person has come out to you, that does not necessarily mean that you have to come out to everyone for them. A person who is out by their peer group might be uncomfortable telling their parents. Some might choose not to be out in their colleagues or out to their colleagues due to the hostile workplace. Similarly, coming out to one friend doesn't mean the person is ready to come out to the whole peer group. If someone is out to you, that does not mean they are prepared to tell the other friends. Outing someone just because you think it will do them good is also unacceptable. For example, if your queer friend is suffering from mental health issues, you know, triggered by their sexuality or gender identity, you should not out them to their family just because you think they will encourage your friend to seek, you know, help. You, you do not know how your family will react in the first place. And because of this, it will put them in a worse mental state, you know? Closeted individuals are also proud of their identities. It is not anyone else's job to force them out of the closet. Pride is not attached with coming out, especially not when it happens forcefully without your consent. You outing someone can have serious consequences on their lives because even today, Members of the LGBT community, being members of the LGBT community is not easy, especially in a country that, you know, really and truly objectifies, ridicule, and is like outraged about the whole idea of LGBT, you know? Being queer yourself doesn't give you any right to also out someone. You should know how to protect this person. Just because you have come out, about your sexuality or your gender identity doesn't mean that someone else have to. 
be respectful you know if you know someone that is queer ask them who already know about their sexuality so that you do not owe them to other people if you hear rumors about their sexuality or gender identity make sure to not give in to them and shut them down if you have question about their identity apart from not disclosing you should also tell them inquiring about individual that is not their place to know on a too fast when a queer person is coming out to you that means they trust you enough to share a part of their identity to you so do not break this trust do not force the individual to do something they are not ready to do outing has serious consequences and ironically it is the person who is out faces them all in jamaica i think people feel entitled to others personal information it is like their birthright to find evidence and send to parents i i can say i think i can say that i was outed more than like i chose to came out because i trusted someone with the information and then afterwards they forced me to tell my mom so it was a situation is either them tell that is it i tell her or you tell her so i think that is something that should come from me so i end up telling her before 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 that before telling her my mom used to get phone calls daily telling her that i'm gay and people would confront her about it and due to the fact that i was struggling with my own identity at the time that wasn't something that i would you know come up with luckily my mother will always defend me about it and you know she, she did it for me you see me but after coming out, you know, things got really hard for her. She was depressed and she really and truly was barely coping with this information. And then people just make it worse because they kept texting her and calling her. Say, you know, see daughter gay or you know, see daughter this, you know, see daughter that. And it was so depressing for her. But thank God my story had a silver lining. That doesn't mean other people's story will. I, re I just really hope that Jamaican people just have the understanding that I don't need to drink water and mind on the business because I don't understand how telling someone's parents and family about their sexual orientation what that's going to do you. You understand me? So like, me really and truly just don't understand it. The point is, guys, we need to be more respectful. We, we need to be more understanding if somebody trusts you with this information it is not your right to go out and share it it means that they, they trust you enough to, to to tell you a part of their life you understand what i said so it's just try to be more understanding try to be more you know accommodating for them and shut down rumors and gossip instead of listening and putting information and you know all of that stuff you see me so if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Drop your comments down below. I would really love to hear what you guys think about this topic. Uh, hit that subscription button. If you are not subscribers yet, hit that notification bell. So every single time a video drop, you guys will know. Tune in tomorrow for the next video.